Hello guys, Tivik here and welcome to Dwarf Fortress. It is time to once more dive into the crazy world of dwarves. And I am going to make a new world to play in. And we're going to start a fort on a location that has some very nice amount of resources. Uh, it's a surface uh, volcano with, uh, with a brook and it seems to be fairly heavy forested. Not so very much um, of trees, but it's good. Let me show you. I found it on the forums, and uh, this is the name of it. I'll link to the forum post uh, in, uh, in the description of this video. So let's generate this. It shouldn't take too long. And uh, up here in the corner is where... Let me show you. Up here. That's the future beak. Okay, that's the volcano we're gonna be embarking on. So let's start on Simamon or something. This is the one. And the embark is supposed to be like that, but I'm gonna expand it so we get some more woodlands. Uh, as you can see here, it's kind of rough when it comes to the terrain. I suppose I could go like that, but let's do that. At least I get more of the different kinds of uh, different kinds of uh, resources. Yeah, let's embark. I'm gonna use the I suppose the Dwarf Fortress vid tutorials. That one is good enough. A carpenter, crafter, farmer, cook, and a hunter. Two miners, a mason, a wood. Yeah, that will do. Okay, what did we not have? Yeah, no sand. There is unfortunately no sand, as far as I know. Uh, yeah, there is no sand. We're gonna have to live without sand. Uh, but uh, anything else? We didn't get any fish. Oh, there should be fish. Kfish. And lobster. Yeah, let's add a few of these. And we're getting a lot of milk. I suppose. Um, let's just do one. Oh, I can't remember. Some core, some kind of milk. Probably llama. Okay. So what else do we have? We have um, reindeer. Yeah, we have gypsum. Gonna bring some more of that. We do have red and black sand, so that should be fine then. Uh, I'm gonna add some more of these because yeah, because ale, wine, beer, and rum. We need it, and we have most of this. Okay, let's uh, make a forest na a fortress name. Glowing crafts. Mm, fair enough. We do have some serious amount of gold in this map, so, and the group will be the copper chamber. That works. Um, that means I need to build a lot of copper uh, wood tiles, floor tiles. I'll handle that. Let's see. We have a mechanic. A miner. He's also got negotiator, judge of intent. He will be the leader from the start. We have a mason, stone crafter, carpenter, designer, grower, woodcutter. Oh dear lord! Yawning here. Sorry about that. Hunter. Uh, yeah. Let's embark, shall we? Strike the earth. So I am running. Uh, DF hack. Um, there is something in that uh, that I like. It's called the stable cursor. Let me show you. As you can see, the stable cursor keeps exact position of dwarf mode cursor during exits to main menu. For instance, allows switching between T, Q, K, and D without losing position. It's very nice. So we're gonna use that. There are some other things here. Um, like... 
Hmm. Yeah, that one we're gonna use the fast trade. I'm gonna live with that for now. Uh, yeah, that's good. Let's uh, load up uh, Dwarf Therapist. Take a look at these guys. They're very, very basic. Let's see if I can just make it a little bit smaller, like that. Um, this looks good. Looking good, looking good. So, what do we have here? We have the Volcano. Ooh, look at that. Microcline. You guys love it, don't you? <laughs> Hematite, and there are some gems here. We seem to have Galena. What are you guys? Kiaman. Green person with the head of a Kia. Gigantic and quite fat. Olive skin is cinnamon. Mm, okay. I do want to take a look at our dwarfs, though. So let's do that. We have uh, uh, the year is still young. A giant eagle here as well. So let's check our citizen. Eral Thudkib is our. Uh, ooh, what is this? Managed labors. Oh, very nice. I can set this through. Huh. Oh, this is very nice. I have a built-in, uh, built-in, um, uh, therapist. And I can shift-click to get the move faster. And this is some new that I don't know about. Okay. Well, fair enough. Um, that was kind of cool. Um, but let's start with him. Her, actually. Uh, like siltstone, gold, black diamond, cowhorn bolts, bucklers, and caves for their adorable call. She prefers to consume river spirits. Okay. Hates muzzles. I'm gonna need to make a fisherman then. Um. Mm hmm. Nothing very special there susceptible to disease and she's our minor that's not good uh, <laughs> I'm not gonna read through these now we can do that at a later point I do need to figure out how I wanna set this up though um, we need to get a uh, basic fort running I'm just gonna make a hole for now uh, let's do it here Let's make a 3x3 three three in here, and let's hope that this area here is good enough for a farm. And this too. It's probably not going to be. And we can dig out a door there, a door there, and a door there. It's good enough, and let's uh, chop down some trees. We need to set up some stockpiles. That's going to be the start area, and we can build some rooms and a uh, simple drinking hall. Uh, I also need to set up some zones for our animals. That's a pasture. No, not a pen. And we're going to put our bulls in there and we're gonna need to make another one I can put that over here near the door for all the turkey drake duck rooster and hens we have a ram that's very good That and that. There we go. 
and they will be busy now. Fell tree, dig. This is just normal loam. So we're gonna let these guys dig for a little bit. Interrupted by Kea. Are you fighting? Are you hunting them? What way is that to greet the natives? Huh? Let's uh, not... Mm, forbid that. Let's do that. This is pretty cool, actually, with this. Very nice, although it's a bit cheaty to see the exact and maybe being able to see stuff like military tactics, reader, poet. But it does help, I suppose. I wonder if there is a new version of uh, Dwarf Therapist. Which version do I have again? I have 0612. Check for updates. Can't. Okay. That's fine. <laughs> Gonna let these dig for a little bit. I think that's the latest version. Cobaltite. Hmm. Oh, it's been so long since I played this. Civilization, what do we know? Our general, siege engineer, and king weaponsmith. Okay. Just looking at the list here. Oh, this should be good. We need some general store. Just want everything in here, really, for now. But let's make this some um, food storage first. And set this to be... Uh, we only want the drink. And in this one, we don't want to drink. we can get the food inside quickly. Um, we will also need to set up the military fairly soon, but it should be a little while until we meet enemies. Let's see... What? Okay, now it's war. Are they flying? Yes, they are. Okay, um... There's a rope. This will be furniture and finished goods. What else do we have here? We have an anvil. Some bags and stuff. And set that to be cloth and leather as well. Sneaky little ones. Huh. 
They're attacking us, the little buggers. That's just mean. Well, we're gonna fix that later. Don't worry. Uh, I'm gonna start up a farm plot here. That will do for now. And that will do for now. Uh, I will make this a seed storage. Enable only seeds. Here we go. You gotta be kidding me. They keep stealing our thread. Where is the... Uh, I don't know. We'll just leave him. That's fine. We can get these things back. Yes, that's good. Shoot them. Let's uh, set up a restraint. I don't have any ropes. That's bad. Plump helmets. Oh, yes. Gypsum goes under what? Do we get the barrels in here? Yes. Gypsum. I suppose it's... Stone? Yeah, gypsum. Yep. So we get that inside as well so they don't steal that. I'm building really without any plan right now. Um, I'm gonna dig out another one of these. Okay, I really need to do something about this. Oh, he's wounded. He's dead. Can't you just kill him? Okay, that's it. I'm going to create a squad. An archer squad from our hunter. Yep. And he's now also... Uh, what's the button that nobles? He's gonna be our military captain. Well, the militia commander. Mm-hmm. And then we're gonna use this squad to attack and kill this guy. Where is he? Okay. Is he dead now? No, he's not. Hmm. I think he ran away. That's fine. Works for me. Then uh, just uh, uh, cancel order. And uh, you can be inactive again. Perfect. Now it's a good plan for me to bring out the dwarf therapist and make sure that my planter is not doing a lot of hauling. It's not his job. He can haul some... Nah, let's not. Also, my miners are not going to be hauling stuff around. And I won't get anything dug out. Commit changes, and there we go. Now my 
planter should be working and my miner should start working. Okay, so this is just our starting hole and kind of our farm area. This will connect to our main fortress later. Now let's start digging out the actual fortress. I want to have an entrance here. Um, if I could maybe imagine a channel going out here. Oh yes, I know what I'm gonna do. If I dig out this area here, we can make this area and this is that hmm that's not gonna be even well uneven you know I'm gonna have to make it like that and then we can dig this out like so. Now the entrance will be through here. And here I can build uh, siege engines over here to shoot at anything that tries to enter the fortress. And then we have our main entrance to the fort. Something like that. And what I'm thinking is that I will dig out um, this area here like so and that will be a moat a lava moat something like that it doesn't need to be much more than that but the more the merrier and it's always fun to play with lava isn't it oh yes um, let's do that nearby the entrance there as well. Uh, we need a workshop, we need a carpenter. Can build him there and we need a mason. Once we get some... well, I'm gonna make it a carpenter only for now. We need a still. Let's place it there. I'm gonna make a furniture storage around the still that I usually do and change the settings to be all types, well all materials of barrels and large food pots. And this one should take from the furniture storage, since this is furniture, yes. Are they doing anything now? The still. It's the kitchen. Can build it out of not basalt. And this here could be a uh, food but set it to be plants only and this one should probably not take plants is that sand? it's yellow sand nice it's very nice that means I can get sand we should probably also dig away this area here something like this at some point. That's not a stress though. So uh, I'm gonna remove that order. Now what I'm thinking is if I can just build a simple staircase down here. I'm not gonna build a central staircase fort but I'm gonna have several different staircases. Do we have that? Yes. Bed. Let's 
Let's build a mason's workshop as well. We can use candle nut. Let's make a stone stockpile there, but let's make it basalt. Because we are around yeah, we're around uh, we're around a f um, volcano, so we should get a lot of basalt. Just, just look at this. It's a lot of basalt. Plants there. It's probably going to be that. Why are you not building this one? This one shouldn't have seeds either. And uh, one moment, guys. I just took a look at the time and realized that uh, I've recorded uh, well over 25 minutes now and uh, I'm aiming for about 30. So I'm going to start rounding this episode off. Um, I will build a. I think this should be. Yeah, since this fort will go down from there, I will make another area there. They can dig once they're done with this project. And, wow, striking some gems here and also some hematite. Very nice. Um, these guys are pulling that by hand. Can I build some wool? Uh, wheelbarrows? Yes. Let's build three. They're actually top priority. There we go. A rattlesnake? Where? Uh, I don't like that. Okay, it's afraid of us. That's good. Now, in this one, we can do sweet pods and cave wheat in uh, autumn and in winter we go, go for plump helmets. We'll need a lot of that as it is. So. so this will be sort of a little food production area and I will link up with some uh, outdoor buildings here at some point I think. And we'll see what we can get. Now my dwarves are so slow. I mean they're at eight and they're not very happy but that's because I don't have beds. I'll make this area here a common room of some kind uh, with some beds and some chairs and stuff like that. The mason is not done but that's because I am digging with these guys. I should have built floor over this one, or rather not dug down into this one. Same there. Anyhow guys, we have a very simple start of the fortress here. It's mid-spring and uh, we have... What was that? Worms? We have worms. Okay. We also have ticks. And we don't have any more plump helmets. That's fine. So, we are going to round this off. I am going to see you guys in the next episode, and I hope you enjoy that I'm bringing back this old classic. And, believe me, it's still one of the best games I've ever played. So, I will see you in the next episode. Take care. Bye-bye. <laughs>